وأنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters welcome to learning Arabic today we are going to break the order of the Arabic alphabet series and go to the second last letter the letter wow let's start previous lesson we took the sign of dhamma harakat ad dhamma and this sign has a big relation with the letter wow and that why we jump to wow today inshallah during the lesson you can understand more why we do that wow to write wow start from this side to the top and then like this shape so the shape here is not a triangle not a circle it's like triangle with circle you write it like this way and then you continue like this way so this the shape of the letter wow the name is wow and the sound with the fatha is wa wa let's go now to the shape of wow in the beginning in the middle and in the end of the word first of all wa the head on the line, the body under the line. Wow, accept the relation in the right side, but never accept the relation in the left side. Wow in the beginning, wow in the middle, and wow in the end. In the beginning of the word, we write wow like this shape, alone, on the line so it can't be related here no relation with the other letter after it in the middle wow take the hand of the other letter before it and then you write it like this way and the same happen in the end wow can be alone on the line if the letter before it doesn't accept the relation or can be related like this way if the letter before it accept the relation. So here we have three words. In the first one, we have to put wow in the beginning. In the second one, we have to put wow in the middle. And in the third one, we have to connect wow at the end. Let's start. Start from here, like this way. Walad, walad, which means boy, walad. Look that, wow, it's closer to lamb, but never connect. The second example, mouse, mouse, which means banana, mouse. Also here, wow, accept the relation in the right side but doesn't accept the relation in the left side in the third word we have to connect the wow in the end took the hand of lamb and then continue like this way wow accept the relation in the right and this is a word dalu that's mean bucket so now we are going to explain why we are jumping from the letter kha to the letter wow. The letter wow is the second last letter in the Arabic alphabet series. So why we do that? Before that, we took alif and also we took the haraka of fatha. And I told you that there is relation between alif and fatha. Because alif is like an extension of the fatha. For example, 
if you have ba with fatha, we spell it ba. And if we have ba with alif, it's became ba. So this alif, it's like if you have two fatha, combine it, not two fatha on top of them. So, and the same happen with the wow. So this wow, and this dhamm. This is the letter, ja, jim, with dhamma, ju, make your mouth like a circle, ju. So, if you put jim with the wow, the sound became ju, double haraka. Ju. So, ba, ba, ju, ju. So, because we need this letter, like alif, like also ya, yeah, these three letters, alif, wow, ya, yeah, these letters are very helpful. To start reading. That's why we jump to wow. And after a while, we will take the letter ya as well. Let's do a quick revision. A. Uh. Bu. Two, sa, ja, hu, kha, ba. Boo. Ha. Hu. Wa. Wu. Let's repeat. A. Bu. Tu. ثا جا حو خا با بو حا حو و وو and that's it now we are going to take some example combine it the letter of today with the previous letters حب حاء والضمة and باء حب خاء باء خاء فتحة with ألف خاء and then ba khaba jaw jaw jim fatha with waw jaw جواب جواب جيم 
فتحة with واو فتحة جوا and then ألف جوا and then باء جواب تاب تاب تاء فتحة with ألف تاء and then باء with فتحة تاب and the last word ثواب ثاء فتحة with واو فتحة with ألف ثواب ثواب and that's it for today thank you for watching والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته